Okay, I'm sorry, but that is hilarious. No, 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 no. Okay, guys, that right there is impressive as heck. I honestly just gonna say I hate this video. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you guys cannot already tell from the title of this video, today I'm going to be reacting to hamster TikToks. I think we all know that TikTok has become such a huge app lately, including myself, which I do just want to tell you guys what my TikTok is. I'm always getting questions from people asking me what my TikTok is and it is Nikki.Minjaj. Um, there used to be like a vine that said something like that. I don't know. So that's why I called my TikTok Nikki Minjaj. My TikTok, by the way, is just a total for fun thing. It's not serious at all and I really don't post that often, but people have been asking me about it. So there you go if you want to watch some of my TikToks. They're not very good, but I'm trying to get better and I'm trying to post like more TikTok. So if you want to follow me on there, go ahead. But anyway, I was like, you know what? It would be really fun to react to hamster TikToks on this, um, on a YouTube video and tell you guys what I think because honestly a lot of hamster TikToks are really just funny videos, but there's also some questionable ones, I'm not gonna lie, just showing like questionable hamster care, like holding their hamster wrong and things like that. So I thought we would just react to whatever hamster TikToks come up on my TikTok whenever I look it up and we can just Hope for the best, I guess. I'm hoping this will just be like a funny video, you know? So let's go ahead and get reacting. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just type in hamster TikTok. Hamster talk, hamster TikTok. All right, let's check on the first one. Humans be like, I give you food, toys, and a place to live. Okay, that's your job. I didn't ask you to buy me. Now go get me a treat. Dude, okay, I'm sorry, but that is hilarious. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is so funny, and that hamster is so cute. My daughter decided it would be a great idea to take her hamster out of the cage in the middle of the night. We have destroyed her room searching for this damn hamster. Where oh where could Jelly Bean be? Let's look and see. I'm a little concerned uh, by I the hamster I can't believe cage. I am going to have a damn hamster running around my house all night. And by the fact that they can't find their hamster. I saw a video that said if you put peanut butter on the cage it would lure him towards his cage. Hopefully there will be a jelly bean in the cage in the morning, like okay, for I'm part actually, two. I don't know. This girl looks like she has like a five-year-old. Um, oh, jelly bean part hey, five. Everybody. So I had a few. Um, I, I'm checking on this. Where jelly bean's cage is located at in our house, and um, the lid that is on his um, his new home. So I'm just gonna turn you guys around. I'll show you. So um, jelly bean's cage is. Oh my gosh! Right in our bedroom here. She got a bin cage. And, um, it is up on my dresser. And here is the lid for his cage. I cut out the center and riveted wire on it, half gauge wire. And I just cleaned it. So his glad they have a bin cage now. He's just, there he is. He's just hanging out in here. Um, so, at first I was about to be like, yo, what is that critter trail? Because obviously that critter trail was like really small. Also, um, I think it's pretty obvious that you should not, if you have like a five-year-old, uh, first off, I don't really think five-year-olds are old enough to like get a hamster. I think like 10 is probably a good age, but that's just my personal opinion. Like that's just really scary. Like five-year-olds don't understand that like if they open the cage, the hamster's going to crawl out and they could not find it. So I think that this hamster obviously was luckily found by the owners based on this video. And I'm sure that, I'm sure because that video got like over 200,000 likes that this girl got a lot of questions or a lot of comments saying like 
that's not the correct care and trying to correct her and stuff and she's obviously corrected her care for her um, daughter's hamster I assume and she has a sand pit and everything they do still have an eight inch wheel I don't want this to be like a critiquing video it's really just supposed to be for fun but in terms of this cage that was seen in this video the wheel should be increased and the cage does still look kind of small even though it is a bin cage but at least jelly bean was found that is good if you do lose your hamster in your specific room try to put like a bowl of water and a bowl of food in all of your rooms and if there's a specific room obviously yes close the doors so that nothing can get in that's and just look for them as much as you can and just make sure that if they are in any specific room that you're leaving water and food out for them so that obviously they can survive so there's that all right next one this one looks questionable Show me someone that lives in your house rent free oh my god Show me someone that lives in your um, house. Um, that hamster's so cute. Not sure what it's doing up on there. It's like trying to like crawl up the bars. It's a little questionable. This little guy was so excited to see me. Take me home, take me home, adopt me today. Oh my god, no, 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 no. That made me really sad. I hate, oh my god, I hate seeing hamsters at the pet store. It just like makes me really sad. That hamster is just running around like crazy like it wants to get out obviously because it's such a small tiny little cage has a tiny little flying saucer barely any bedding like the bedding is like that that much that poor little robo dude it's not begging you to take it home it's just really freaking excited because it doesn't want to be in there anymore that's why hamsters need a bigger guy was so excited to see me Okay, I actually want to check out, did this person get the hamster or no? I think they did. I think. I think they did buy him. Let's see what he looks this like now. Aww. Really she cute. So Aww. Okay, well the owner really seems to like his hamster, so I'm glad that she went to a good home, but it just makes me sad that, you know. Okay. What is with this sound? It's- I love this sound. It's from Up. Is this like a hamster taming clip? Okay guys, that right there is impressive as heck. I wish so badly that I could tame a hamster like that. I honestly have tried like with so many hamsters. Like Rhino I've tried. Like I just don't know how to get a hamster to do that. Like I just do not. Maybe it's just the hamster is naturally tame. Either way, I don't know how they do it. How they just get them to like climb right onto there. That is so impressive, guys. Like you guys know, I have two hamsters and I like making hamster videos, but I am by no means like an expert. And I wish that I knew how to tame hamsters that much because that is, I just wish like I had a bond with my hamster like that. That's just so cool. So she said, what's the problem, baby? What's the problem? I don't know. Well, maybe I'm in love. I think about it every time I think about it. Can't stop thinking about it. How much longer will it take to Little hamster this? Just to cure it, cause I can't oh ignore God, it. If it's so love, it makes me want to turn around and face me. But come on, come on. Yo, that was that. That's so cute. Okay, I really want to do that tonight with Chandler and Rhino. It's just like give him some food out on the thing. And he's eating in his little snuggle sack. Like, what the heck? That's so cute. Oh my gosh. He's running crazy. Robos are so tiny, but they're so fast. That's crazy. I mean, good thing that they're like free roaming, and that looks super fun for a hamster. Guys, if you do not know this already, do not let your pets interact with your hamster. Do not let your hamsters interact with each other. Do not let your cat interact with your hamster or your dog or your bird or whatever other animal that you have. Your hamster 
should not be interacting with them whatsoever. So I really, I honestly just gonna say I hate this video. I hate that they have the cat right next to the hamster who's probably freaked out. They have, they're not even holding it, they're holding it like this, which you should never hold a hamster like that unless you're like checking it, like doing a little body check or something, but that makes me mad, no. So looking at this gigantic, expertly decorated 10 gallon tank, you're probably wondering what kind of exotic beasts I have in here. And the answer is simple. One very spoiled bastard. So looking at this Um, nice cage, must say. Um, but yeah, that's definitely big, bigger than a 10 gallon. I think they were just using a random sound or something. Hey guys, editing Nikki here. Just wanted to quickly pop in and end the video right here. So the video turned out to be pretty long. So I thought what I was gonna do instead of having just a really long video is I'm just going to split it up into two parts. Part two will be coming out next week. So please make sure to keep your eyes peeled for part two. Please do make sure to tell me down below, did you guys like this reacting to TikToks? I think it was pretty fun. I think it was kind of similar to my reacting to hamster cages video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, please give it a like and comment down below um, if I should do more of these after part two, of course and subscribe for more hamster videos and more um, style videos and just lifestyle videos in general. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.